So, hello again from the magical woodland. I couldn't help myself, I had to get back because there was quite some new snow this week. So if you look around, uh, last time I was here there were a lot of trails already going through the forest, a lot of footprints. Those are now covered. The only footprints I now have is, I'm not sure, might be a deer or something. <laughs> so yeah, I had to come back. Uh, it seems I'm the first photographer now to explore the fresh snow here and yeah this is also the challenge because I have to be very careful not to trample the compositions and the good thing is I was here a couple of times over the past year so I know where the good compositions are where I might have to uh, go a little round when I walk and one of those compositions maybe you remember it from the intro the last video back there those trees um, I was walking through those because there were already trails, so there was no photo there. But now this scene, yeah, looks very pristine, very clean, very pure here. Just with those little footprints of some animal. So I'm now gonna try to shoot it, but I have to be careful how I approach it. So I don't want to go directly to the front. I said this in past videos, you're gonna have to approach such a scene from afar test some composition there, then go a little closer and closer. Otherwise, you have your footprints directly in your frame. So yeah, I have to be careful today. Also, I don't want to spoil all the places for possibly other photographers which might come here. Um, but yeah, it can't be helped. So a few footprints are leaf. It's just not possible to float through this forest without leaving footprints. But yeah, now we're gonna try to take this photo and yeah, maybe I'll talk you through the composition once I found it. So, I have to admit, I'm not 100% sure about this composition. Something which is quite usual for those winter expeditions. But as I said in the last video, it's always good to just take the photo and then later see on the big screen, which is what I'm gonna do now. Um, so yeah, I went quite close and I didn't go so far down here because there's no real foreground. So I went nearly at eye level looking through this little tree arch, but um, there's no really good framing. So the problem I'm having here is in the middle you have those beautiful trees but to the left and to the right so right side is quite nice with all those branches going to the side looks quite nice to the left there is too much open space so yeah it's not really balanced and i also didn't find a good balance by experimenting with a vertical shot or going closer um, so i think i'm gonna leave it for now i've taken the photo and i'm gonna head out because it seems like the light is picking up a bit so there's just a very thin cloud cover and yeah the sun is up now for half an hour so yeah maybe i'm lucky and get some kind of golden light again so i'm gonna explore some of the areas where i went last video with those yeah standalone trees and gonna see if i can take another photo there and yeah later head back into the forest So if you remember this tree I photographed it already in the last video. Back then I had the long lens on and there was some light. This time it's much more minimalistic. You just have this yeah, foggy sky, this low clouds behind it, a white canvas and in front of it this white tree. So this photo is gonna be very minimalistic. So I think I'm gonna go with a 4x5 or something like that. So not to include anything to the sides, just the tree and yeah, it's such a beautiful subject with the thick snow on it that I think it can stand for itself. I don't need anything else in the frame. Now I'm just sticking around a little bit longer because yeah, the, the clouds, if you see, it's already getting a little bit of color. So I don't think they are too thick. So maybe I get similar conditions to last week where I had this golden light in the afternoon. Maybe I get something similar this morning. Otherwise, I'm gonna stick around and see what else I can find and look around. There are all those trees, thick snow around them. And I'm very glad that we got such a beautiful winter this year. I'm waiting for that for a long time now. And yeah, finally, 
it's, it's there and I have to get out just every time I can. So nearly every weekend and it's just beautiful. And I think I'm gonna move on now, see what else I can find. So I've now come back to an old friend, which you see behind me, the striding tree. I photographed it about, I think, one and a half years ago, the first time. And yeah, back this was in the beginning of autumn. Since then I've returned multiple times, but yeah, it was never uh, yeah, the right conditions so to get a better photo than last time. Today it's special because of the amount of snow we have, so it's really a lot of snow, everything's clean around that tree and I thought I'd give it a try. So um, I've already taken a few photos, again approaching the tree from afar and now I want to take the obvious photo. So I think everybody who has photographed this tree has a photo from this side, also from the other side, but I think this one here is a more beautiful side. Um, the problem I'm having is Okay, there's not really a foreground, so I don't want to include much. But what I want to include is a lot of the branches up there. So what I have to do, I have to tilt the camera slightly upwards. When I do this, what I get is the typical keystoning. So the tree is leaning inward. So what I have to do is I have to already think about straightening those later in post and what this means. For example, if I have trees which lean inward, when I later straighten those, you have to think of pulling out the corners at that side. So basically a tree that's leaning like this will have to be pulled outwards. So everything that's to the right side of that tree might be gone, might be out of the frame. So this is something you have to think about when you frame your shot, same to the other side. So if you do perspective corrections, always plan in a bit of space to the sides where you can pull out the corners to straighten whatever you want to straighten. For example, the trees here and yeah, just make sure you don't lose anything essential in those corners. Yeah, so I think you're gonna stick around a bit longer. Maybe the light finally breaks through the clouds again. Uh, it was just a brief moment in the morning since then, completely clouded in here, but yeah, maybe now in the afternoon, get a bit of light. Don't know, this would certainly look nice when we get some light shining in here through the branches lighting up the tree but yeah it's already nice that way so i i'm already very happy to finally get another photo of that tree <laughs> 